The damned will sooner die again than lay a hand on me. Come, and have a good look yourself. Tr <laughs> You've got a deal. Believe me, I'm not making this up. Wow! Talk about hurly-burly this- Ooh. Let's get our bearings so we can start looking for leads. We know that whatever the Academia lost is related to the gods. Hmm. Asfa told us to try posing as Academia students while asking around. Paimon doesn't get it. Won't we look even more... Well, given all the people that come through here every day... <laughs> welcome. Welcome. Uh, how can I help you too? Question. Um, do students from the academia ever come to Port Ormos? <laughs> of course. Especially around this time of year. Students from Sumeru City that are about to graduate often come to Port Ormos to cut loose a little. Many people often talk about how hard it is to get accepted into the academia, let alone graduate. Sure, we may not be Sumeru City. Ah, you see over there? Those are students from the Academia. They've been looking worried and miserable ever since they got here a few days ago. If you ask me, the life of a merchant is better. Hmm. Those students seem to be discussing something. Let's see if we can listen in. <sighs> Nothing but smooth talk all day. It's no good. I've tried asking around, but I haven't been able to learn anything useful. Not to mention that a bunch of scary-looking Aramite mercenaries have been posted along the streets now. There's been a lot of fighting between the different Aramite factions in Port Ormos. Especially the group that's constantly shouting some stuff about the Scarlet King and some resurrection. They're called Ein El Achmar. Wait, come again? Don't you see? Many- They're usually pretty wary of outsiders. I've heard that Ein El Achmar likes to set up shop at the Jafar Tavern. So, wait, wait, did you say half a million? I wouldn't worry too much. No, I guess that makes sense. Whoa, did you hear that? A niche field of research and shady knowledge? So, what's your plan? Wait, didn't you hear what they just said? Uh, oh, all right. Opportunity wets the most. <laughs> <laughs> about. Let's find a seat somewhere and see if we can spot the group they mentioned. Huh. 
Oh, you've arrived. Please take a seat. So, they think that they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the boss? <laughs> they're nothing to be afraid of. How can the Caracal Battalion compete with the boss when they're nothing but a bunch of money-grubbing opportunists out for a quick mora? Yeah, with boss's fervent devotion. Huh. All these guys talk about... <laughs> Greater Lord Ruka Devata. That traitor and her followers must not be spared. The day will come when the Scarlet King exacts vengeance on Sumeru, and all of them shall be punished. Yeah, Paimon was wondering what they meant too. What's going on? How can there be Kairagi here? Should I adjust the shipping schedule? Huh? Who are you? What do you want? A student? <laughs> What's a student from Sumeru City doing in Port Ormos? Ah, well, if it's info you want, you've come to the right place. The question is, can you afford it? Huh? What is this, some kind of joke? Oh! <laughs> Sorry! He must have grabbed the wrong amount! Hey, what do you think you're doing? Right now. <laughs> Here, this is the merchant's address. Whatever you're looking for, you'll find it there. Hmm? Well, what are you waiting for? Oh, that's right! We heard you mention the Scarlet King just now. We're just... <sighs> Fine. Since you've already handed over the Mora, I guess I can throw in a little extra info. As you can see, members of Ain al Ahmar are devout believers of the Scarlet King. Years ago, the Scarlet King founded the great desert nation that was our homeland. The Scarlet King was the rightful god of wisdom, but he was betrayed by a companion he trusted. So, you mean the traitor was... Greater Lord Ruka Devata, yes. That shameless wretch destroyed the Scarlet King's civilization. Furthermore, she conspired with the Academia to cover up the truth of her actions and create the merciful and benevolent facade for which she is now known. <sighs> But the story doesn't end there, oh no. Mark my words, our god shall return. If what I'm saying makes you shiver with fear, it might not be too late for you to become a believer of the Scarlet King. <laughs> I don't have anything to say to you academia people about that. I think this conversation has reached its end. Not just yet. This man is a fraud. Huh? <sighs> you again? deranged academia lunatic. Yes, it's me again. I already warned you that if you weren't willing to sit and discuss things with me, listen to me. That address he gave you is fake. Or at least, you won't find a merchant waiting for you there. Once you show up, they keep up the act until they have hard evidence that you want to purchase said item. Then they use that to squeeze you for all the more you're worth. Hey! Shut it, all Haytham! What are you playing at, trying to ruin- I told you the other day. I wish to discuss my terms with your boss. Ha! The boss made it perfectly clear that he won't negotiate with you. Yes, and in no uncertain terms. I'm warning you. Don't push us. If you're suggesting that we escalate this from a verbal exchange to a physical one, I accept. If, on the other hand, we can't agree on any means of negotiation at all, then I'm afraid my next course of action will sting a little more than the mere falling through of a few business deals. I will jeopardize the Aramite's reputation, which I know you value above all else. I am quite confident that if I began to take such action, your boss would willingly approach me himself. Also, a word of advice. What did you say? Consider this. Have I ever failed to follow through on my word in the past? This guy is really out of his mind. Okay, then. If you really have a death wish, let's meet a week from today. The pier in front of the Pharos Lighthouse, four o'clock in the afternoon, sharp. Don't expect us to hold back. Not so fast. First, you return the 500,000 mora to them. Please, I beg you, don't provoke them. We can't afford any trouble with this crowd. They haven't even paid for their food yet. Ah, Mr. Iman. 
There appears to be fewer staff in the restaurant recently. I, uh... Well... <laughs> someone who chooses to do business with a group like that really can't afford to get so flustered the instant someone confronts them about it. Consider the meal compensation for our silence. I'd say you're getting an excellent deal. Whoa! Did you see that? He not only got us our Mora back, but sent the Emirates running too! Plus, he seems to know a lot about what's going on around here. Let's catch up with him and ask some questions! He went that way! After him! What's going on? How can there be cold? What do you want? No need for thanks. My goal was to get to them, and you two gave me just the opportunity I needed. We're even. Oh, I advise you to keep your distance from them. <sighs> All right. Goodbye. Hold your horses! We still have something to ask you about! <sighs> Since you tore through their scam right in front of them, you must know the real story about a... Ahem... Certain something, no? Who exactly are you two? And why are you inquiring about that? A student. <laughs> right. Look, you should know that those thugs conducting business with you had nothing to do with your lie. Huh? Oh, yeah! He's really strong! Weren't you saying something about a physical exchange? We can help with that. He doesn't even have a vision. Forget it. Maybe not, but he can still use elemental energy. Otherwise, there's no way we'd go asking for info from I'm... I'll... I... Um... From guys like that. Those high-headed thugs are definitely gonna bring a lot of backup for your next meeting. Hmm. Uh... <sighs> All right. I accept. Got a pen and paper? If you're searching for someone who sells that kind of merchandise, I'll give you one of their addresses, and you can try your luck. We'll reconvene at the appointed time by the pier. Um, so, since you were happy to give us this merchant's information... You were willing to part with 500,000 Mora for something, and you... <laughs> okay. Well, if you truly are as skilled as you claim, look, if you've been making inquiries, then you have to know something by now. We know connected to the academia somehow, and that not only do the Aramites deal in it, but some students want to get a hold of it too. You know almost everything there is to know. This is what you've been looking for. Huh? Paimon can't tell what it is. It looks like some kind of ornament. This is a knowledge capsule. Anyone who links it to their personal Akasha terminal instantly becomes privy to its contents. Correct. Anyone. That's amazing! It's essentially a convenient and harmless vestibule for knowledge. They were created as a means for scholars to transfer knowledge gained from Ermansoul into the Akasha. And But despite strict regulations, some of these knowledge capsules will always escape destruction. Over the past century, meanwhile, those which the Aramites deemed to be useless to them occasionally prove useful to the common citizens and hapless academia students. Well... I think that about sums it up. Oh, so that's your true objective. With our current arrangement, you're still resolved. Let's continue our conversation here. If you wish to learn more about the knowledge capsule that the Academia lost, then you must help me with something. I need you to find someone named Dory, a traveling merchant. Unlike the peddlers who hawk inferior knowledge capsules, she often has quality goods in stock. She's guarded against people from the Academia because most of her wares don't comply with Academia regulations. I think she blacklisted me. Become one of Dory's customers and earn her trust. Why do you want us to meet with her? Until you complete this task, you don't have question privileges. Ugh, fine. So how do we 
go about doing this? You two are outlanders who haven't been here for long. Beyond the password, though, I have... Uh, this is kind of nerve-wracking. The true challenge begins after you meet her. She has a keen nose for Mora and a shrewd eye for wares. I'll prepare some funds for you. What? We only just saw a knowledge capsule for the first time! Hmm, that's true. Have you two heard of Elemental Sight? Oh, that's a surprise. Here are two knowledge capsules. Tell me, can you detect any difference in their quality? Um, they look the same to Paimon. Try inspecting them with elemental sight. How'd it go? Did you see anything? Rumor has it that higher quality knowledge capsules generally appear brighter when viewed through elemental sight. That's because knowledge originates from Ermensoul, the root of Dendro power itself. However, some canned knowledge with a high concentration of elemental energy is of little use in contemporary times. Using elemental sight. That sounds pretty impressive. Here's a sheet with the informant's location and contact password. And here is don't be cheap. Oh, and. Matra? <sighs> The Matra are razor sharp. You're in for nothing good if they lock their sights onto you. Okay. Looking at what Al Haytham wrote, and try to get in contact with him. Hello. What are you two looking to buy? Wait. Are you sure you're remembering that right? Uh, Paimon doesn't think it was that on the paper. <laughs> what a unique palette. We have... Following the paper... Ronok. Got it. You two, please follow me. You two have a fascinating fashion sense. We haven't seen a customer wearing a Sumeru rose for quite some time. Uh, hold on. <laughs> We're obviously wearing morning flowers. Ah, my mistake. I do apologize. <sighs> that pop quiz sure was scary. Ah, the warehouse is up ahead. Please follow me. Before I retrieve your products, I need to confirm a few things. Please forgive me, but we may not have sufficient stock for you today. Earlier, many of our Hara fruits were taken by mud. Uh, hold on. That's not right. He's cautious of us. Let's take a quick... Before I retrieve your... Uh, please forgive me, but we may not have sufficient stock for you today. Earlier, many of our Hara fruits were taken by mice. <laughs> thanks. If better go... You look like you have some skill. Why don't I pick out some fruits that'll make you dizzy? Yep, that's the right answer. But... Eating hara fruit that makes your head and ears ring sounds like a bad luck. Would you like your hara fruits to be packaged in the Sumero City or Port Ormo style? Wow, you two sure are generous customers. We'll be sure to package your products beautifully. Okay, everything has been confirmed. The story is waiting for you up at. Shoot! It's the Matra! Run! What? The matcha? Where? I'll hate them said we're done for if they catch us! We gotta get out of here! We don't know this area, so let's follow that informant!
Tiger, come this way! Sword! Huh? Oh, that voice came from behind the building on the right! Here, over here! You can stop running now. So you were the one who was calling out to us just now. But, uh, are we definitely gonna be safe here? These two good customers wish to buy some horror fruit, Miss Dory. And if there's nothing else, I'll... Oh, very good. Huh? Wait, you're Dory? Hi, hey, what are you trying to say, Princess Peach? But it seems... Uh, Paimon's not sure if that's supposed to be... I can't risk doing business with people who start huffing and puffing after just a few pages. So that's why it's your first time. As long as you have lots of round, shiny Mora, and then I... Get... Wow, she has a trove of canned knowledge. Whew. She put all kind of... Take this one, for example. An analysis of the sociological... Yeesh. Who... Or... How about... With this one, you can become... Ooh, now two million more... Whoa! Of course, you are... All right, let's try the method that I'll hate them mentioned. to good use by finding something useful for me. Excellent! And then... Uh, hold on a second. Oh, uh oh Paimon has a bad feeling about this. Let's use Elemental Sight again. So, what did you see? So, they're all worth about the same amount? Anyway, the more has already been spent, so let's at least try to find something useful. But Paimon not sure we'd ever find volumes one through seven, but Dory, we'll take this one. All right. Our dealings with Dory went smoothly enough. Let's head to Wakoa Funduk and meet up with all Hatham. Hopefully now. Perfect color. 